Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and I'm here starting the video a bit differently because we have a slab already out. Um, this is just the bonus one for the video, as you can see in the background. I'm pretty sure what you know these, this is uh, going to be about. Let this be a theme for the video. This is a PF69 Silver Idaho quarter that I picked up recently. It's the first graded state quarter I own, um, and I would quite like to own the complete set. That will be... Um, <laughs> for another time. In keeping with trying to own a complete set, I'm gonna give a few spoilers. This is all slabs, it's mostly eagles, um, and the main reason for this is I kinda of wanted to get a head start on sort of completing uh, my set. Getting this package here was a bit of a hassle. Um, UPS delivered it for some reason halfway across the town, which is a bit odd. Um, I won't really give into too much detail as to where I am, but just let you know that this is quite a big town and it's mixed rural, mixed urban, but for some reason someone completely misread the address and put it halfway across the town. So before I ramble too much, let's get this open. As per usual, I've got my Swiss Army knife. Let's try and see if I can cut this on camera. It's not... There we go. Always takes a bit of uh, messing around with that to get that to work. This will probably be the last Atmex unboxing for a while because um, personal things got in the way. I'm currently looking for work, but I still managed to afford this. So there's our inner packet as per usual. So we'll put that to one side. Let's get this open. I also don't know if I have more space on my thing than last time, but this video I may have to kind of rush through it. So you can hear it's quite meaty, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. So let's get this cut open. Yeah, I might just be able to peel it. Hey look at that, it's an inner packet that doesn't require uh, ripping it open for once. That's pretty cool. So let's put that to one side for a sec, and I'm going to start pulling stuff out at random. Uh, might as well start with the only thing in here actually that isn't um, an eagle um, for a sec. Well, the only two things that aren't eagles. Let's see if I can actually find it. I say I'm going to make it random and it immediately isn't random. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, let's, let's just keep going. So, first of all, let me actually get this out of the little Ziploc bag here because we're not going to do it like the last time. Um, where I just keep them in the bags. We're going to show them in their full beauty. We have a 1994 Denver Capitol commemorative. This is quite a cool design. I really like the sort of angle they've gone with for the Capitol. And although this obviously isn't related, it kind of reminds me of the London bullion coins the Royal Mint made a few uh, years ago. Pretty neat. So obviously here we have the rotunda of the Capitol in Washington DC on the front. And if I recall correctly, this design here, while obviously it's based on the Great Seal, is also based on a piece of stained glass inside the Capitol, which is quite neat. This is the first of these kind of irregular commemorative silver dollars I own graded. I know there is a wide variety of them and a wide variety of commemorative half dollars as well. And of course, most recently, the reproduction Morgan and Peace dollars. So I will definitely need to look into collecting a few more of these because I quite like just sort of the variety, I guess. So I'll put that to one side. And next up, we have another Morgan, which I'm going to just cut out of its package because it's been kind of shrink wrapped in. It's in one of those ones. I will be interested to see if this has a different mint to all my other Morgans because the graded ones I have are all um, New Orleans mint. We have an 1885 MS-63, which is quite interesting because one of my other uh, graded Morgans is also from the 1880s. As you can see, it's got definitely got some bag marks, um, but it has a really strong cartwheel effect. That's quite a nice coin. No mint mark, so this is a Philadelphia Morgan. Interesting. I wouldn't have been annoyed if I got another um, New Orleans mint mark because, to be honest, that is a mint which is no longer around today. But hey, it's quite cool to get a bit of variety. So we'll put you over there. And now we are getting into the meat of the video. We have our eagles. 
and just pull all these out. Oh, there's a lot of variety here. Um, I, as I say, I'm looking at the cores on these. This is really cool. So the first one we have here, and this is actually a gift for Father's Day, is a 2021 Type 2 First Day of Issue. Um, you've already seen this one on the channel because I own one myself, but there you go. Pretty cool. Put that to one side. Then we have, and this one actually reminds me of another um, Greg and Eagle I recently purchased, but I don't have on video yet, but I'll show it to you here just so you know what the label looks like. This is a 2012 West Point Eagle with a pedigree. This apparently is from Mint Sealed Box 7. Pretty cool to have something quite low um, in the mintage production because this would have been in the top 10 boxes to leave the West Point Mint, which is quite cool. I'm leaving this one in its package just so it can be um, wrapped a bit easier. But yes, there is Eagle number two. Put you there. Oh my, wow, okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. We have another one here, which I'm just leaving in its packet this time. It's another 2012 W, but it's from the first mint sealed box. I don't know how uh, NGC actually tracks boxes or if they're just like sent whole monster boxes or something, but wow, I didn't expect to kind of get two with the same pedigree and actually, from the first set of coins. That's very cool, and I, I thank you, Atmex, for this one. I honestly didn't know how much variety I was gonna get in this one. When I planned this video, I completely expected it to just be me pulling out a bunch of uh, coins of the same design and going, oh wow, look at the eagles, these are quite nice, silver is silver, blah, 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 the same stuff I usually say. But wow, that's quite cool. I am not gonna lie, thank you, Atmex. Thank you. <laughs> So we'll put that to one side again. Actually, let's put the um, this one in here too. I know it's not part of the video technically, but we'll group it together. Uh, let's see what this one is. The label has actually been put over the position of the NGC label in the bag. All right, I got another 2012. The year isn't really a big variety, but we've got a first releases 2012 Silver Eagle. So far, obviously, we're seeing three of the exact same year, but, you know, you can't go wrong with that. And honestly, I'm quite happy by the pedigrees alone. That's been a really pleasant surprise. Can't go wrong with that. So, again, it's all MS-69, so it's pretty neat to have. And it's got the older first releases label, as you can see here. It's got the holographic effect showing up. I will, all, I will be adding all of these to my NGC registry, which I am working on. And it's all part of the mission, really, to expand my collection of eagles. And it's all good old ounces of silver. So regardless of the year, it's all good to see. So I'll put you there. And last, we have our last slab. Hello. This one's got an interesting um, core design. I actually kind of wanted one of these because I don't have a 2021 Type 1 yet in an NGC stab. With this very nice um, special slab core with the Walking Liberty design on it, we have a 2021 Eagle Silver Dollar. It's the Heraldic Eagle type, so it's McCanty's original design. And yes, this is this is quite an interesting surprise. Doesn't have the holographic on the back, but I'd imagine these are probably authenticated through different means. And yeah, that's really all I can say about it. That's very cool. But I still have to say that my favourite is definitely this particular one here. Just because knowing that it is from the first mint box uh, that came out of the West Point Mint during that production run, that is very neat. So, with that being said, this is more or less where I can end the video. I'm RCT3 Crashes 100, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.